Hi, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a functionality proof and some remarks on uh, on an older Sanyo <coughs> mainboard. Uh, this particular one is M7EK. It's from a 46 inch DP46840, I believe. Uh, and it was sent to us with a note. I'm having customers' notes, but they will recognize the handwriting. HDMI inputs have no sound, have picture. All other inputs have sound. And we have spent quite some time, because it's been a while, there was a time when we were servicing a lot of those boards years ago. And uh, they have a well-known problem, which this board also had. The audio power IC uh, is running hot and eventually overheating and burning and the board would power on. So we took care of that. We uh, put a DC DC converter there that is capable of handling the power better. Somebody has already worked on that, but that's not the problem. It, it was having sound. It was overheating. It, it was only a matter of time before it would have failed again. So we took care of that. And this is the sub module, but that's not what the, the reason why the customer was sending this. Uh, before I proceed further, let me just show you the setup, which can be seen in some of our later videos. We don't keep the whole TV anymore. We have uh, this small device here, which is a universal player. Uh, and uh, the LVDS signal gets out of the board. And we have a uh, power supply, which is just wrapped in paper, out of which the power comes there you go uh, to the board and we have an external button set for Sanyo and this is from where I command the thing and of course I'm watching on a small screen like that to see what is happening with the board oh the speakers of course yeah uh, that's how we keep them straight to the board here so as you can see and hopefully here uh, we are having sound out of HDMI. It's a simple, cheap Chinese MP3 player uh, that currently stopped because I pushed it a little and something probably lost signal. Maybe the USB power, maybe something else. Mm, see, this is not flashing. It should start flashing. Let's reset it. And just power cycle it by plugging the USB back again. And let's see if it starts. Yep, it's flashing, so it will show up in a second on the screen as well. There you go. There's the media center, and it goes automatically into playing. And I hope you can hear it. So, as you can hear, there is a sound out of that, that board. And this is, in all fairness, how it came. Now, let's take, uh, disconnect that cheap Chinese player and get an Amazon uh what do they call it stick fire stick which is 4k and play it into the same hdmi and get power from the same usb there you go and watch out what happens as it boots so first it's going to say that this is a fire tv and then this message down there is from the TV. This is coming from this board, not from the Sanyo. It says, signal is DVI connection. Please use HDMI and audio three inputs for this AV signal. The reason for that message is something in the signal itself is telling the IC that is processing it, or the main processor, it's actually the IC, that this device is not encoding audio. It's not sending audio. The most likely reason for that, because of course it is sending audio, is the uh, device capabilities that are stored here in the uh, HDMI selector IC and the device specifications for what is being supplied, what kind of formats are being supplied, what, and what type of encoding it is, that is being used by the uh, Fire Stick are just incompatible. And this, the, the main processor decides that there is no audio fed because there is no match here uh, between what formats this can recognize and what formats this can supply. And the reason for that conclusion is because it doesn't do it with some older devices. 
And also because we spent quite some time digging into that, and if that IC is replaced with a more recent version one, not the one that the, the, the board was manufactured with, but a more recent version one, this is a 96, and a later version of that is the 97, then that message disappears when the Amazon Fire Stick is, is plugged. It's not the IC that is bad, because that's a IC that we took off a working board. It is a matter of firmware and hardware configuration. This board is simply seven, eight years old, and this is almost brand new and 4K. They are simply incompatible. So there might be other formats, uh, I believe, with a Google, Google, uh, what is Chromecast plugged in. It doesn't recognize the resolution at all. It, it, it cannot show a picture. But the board is fully functional as it is. It's just that those are too new now when we when we put in a, a newer ic there was no such message here but in all fairness we did not test the sound we were just trying to see whether it's a compatibility issue or whether it's a device failure so we took chips from boards where we have seen the the, the chips working um, and they didn't work. And then what we did is we took another board, which is brand new and have always been functional. I mean, it's not brand new. It, it has never been serviced, even for the uh, for the audio sound, because it's one of the models that don't have that audio amplifier here. Uh, it's, it's just different. So that board is exhibiting the exact same behavior as this one. But we took the ICs from other boards where we could get sound from uh, here and from Google uh, Chromecast and from the Fire Stick. They were, they were just slightly newer boards with a newer firmware. So this is not a defect, it's just a design. And us upgrading something that was hard coded the way it was, uh, it frankly is beyond our pay grade. Uh, so that's it. Um, you will just have to toss a different board or use older generation sources. Uh, that the board can work with. Uh, one possibility is putting that IC, but when we put the newer IC, oddly enough, the, that message was gone, so it was able to take that format. However, this player was not recognized anymore, the cheap Chinese player. And because it wasn't a sanctioned uh, way of upgrade, Sanyo has never said anything about it, and we didn't spend time researching it, all we noticed was that with the newer IC here, the message was not showing for the Amazon Fire Stick, but the cheap Chinese player was not recognized anymore either. So between the two, we decided to go with the, the original IC that came from it. That, that's not the, the IC that came on this board. We did replace it with the one that uh, it is the exact same IC, but came from a board where it was an LG board actually, where we could see how everything was working fine. The EDID which is the information that's being encoded about what the board can provide, uh, it was playing everything. And we were hoping that it's going to play here too. Uh, but it, it behaves exactly the same way as the original one did. And so we decided to keep it. That is all. Uh, hope it is as clear as it can be. Best of luck.